Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, the past couple of days have been like cold and snowy and not much else to do other than trying to stay warm and, <laughs> and, and read and watch TV and do a little bit of house cleaning, um, which is what I've been doing for the past couple of days. <laughs> and anyway, so I want to do a video about what I've been reading. Some of the books I've talked about before, but two of them I've actually finished, so I can tell you a little bit about them. The first one up is The Rise of the Rocket Girls, which I listened to on Overdrive or Libby, um, which I've been utilizing lately. And it was a very inspirational story. It doesn't matter whether um, the main characters were women or black or white or what have you it was you know it's just an amazing story that people can that could actually do this stuff that could um you know go figure out the math and figure out how to get rockets to go up into space and not only that but go to the moon and land on the moon uh, and stuff like that and the story it's it's about a group of women who worked for the in the the beginning story of JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in in Pasadena, and it's about a group of women, human computers, who did um, some of the computations and um, mathematics, um, you know, about the about rockets and and fuel and and all that kind of stuff, and what made them go and and all that stuff. And it, it dials in a little bit into their personal life too. There were like a little bit of slow, a few slow points that I felt, but, um, overall it was, it was a good, it was a, it was a good story. I give it like a, like a 3.5 out of five. So there you go. And I will list all the books that I'm mentioning down below and their authors. And then the second one um, was Elizabeth was my story by Elizabeth Smart. Um, and first off, I want to say I I can't imagine because this is like a very famous case. I can't imagine living what she went through and going through through all of that. Um, I didn't, and I have a lot of res and I have a lot of respect for Elizabeth. I didn't really like the the writing style. Maybe it was just the writing style I didn't I didn't like. Um, and other people have mentioned that before in in it. Um, and the version I uh, Elizabeth Smart was narrating her story and stuff. But yeah, and there were a few things that I learned um, about the kidnapping and and what happened to her. And all that stuff. So yeah, um, it it had happy ending. So that was so that was good. She made it home, and she seems to be well adjusted for having gone through all of that. Um, and she seems to have a pretty good head on her shoulders. So, but anyway, so that's that one. And then I'm almost done. I only have like 150 pages left in this book. The Woman in the Window by A.J. Flynn. Um, and I kind of have my theories about this. And I think what I'll do is I'll do a, a video about this later on after I finished it. Yeah, as I said, I only have like 150 pages left. So the big reveal and putting all the pieces together, um, we'll, we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see if I'm right. We'll see if I'm right. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All right. So anyway. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I will see you later with the video about the woman in the window by A.J. Flynn. Anyway, and so that's what I've been reading and doing lately. Um, the first week of, of February. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video or if you've read any of these books, um, you know, please, if you happen across this video, please comment, like, or subscribe. 
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.